We've seen the science behind crash tests, witnessed a Honda CRV meet a messy end, and revealed how you can protect yourselves from whiplash. But let's not forget that cars aren't the only vehicles on the road. In the UK right now, there are over 3.6 million of these. These are called vans. When was the last time you heard how safe they were? Chances are, you never really thought about it. Until now, vans have been an unknown quantity, but Euro NCAP has changed that. They've just finished conducting their first ever van crash tests, and the results are a bit shocking. Six brand new models from Citroen, Fiat, Ford, Hyundai, Peugeot and Renault were put through their paces, all of which are available as family-friendly minibuses too. Only the Ford Transit managed a five-star rating. The others couldn't beat a measly three. But two million vans on the road are over five years old, and they're an entirely unknown quantity, which is why today I'm conducting a crash test of my own. This machine, a 12-year-old Vauxhall van, as used by countless tradesmen across the land, is going to hit that car down there, a VW Passat, head-on, both travelling at 40 miles per hour. Now, both vehicles are about the same age, both are structurally sound, and actually both were in regular use until yesterday. Euro NCAP gave the Passat four stars in 2001, but they've never tested the van. We're filling it with a typical payload, one tonne of sand, and installing our very own low-tech dummies to see what could happen to the people on board. Here on fifth gear, we quite like engines, so our winch system is a V8. This pickup here, 7.4 litre Chevy V8, 350 horsepower. It drives its back wheels, which in turn, turn these wheels with the steel cable on a drum. That cable pulls both cars together to the point of impact, and the cable is bolted along the ground to make sure the cars don't veer off course. Just in case this lot gets a bit excited, we've decided to just get a little strap and hold it back with a, a little lorry. Well, you never know. With last minute checks complete, we're ready to go. It's really weird to get this horrible feeling inside your stomach. Here we go, 10 seconds. Because you know what's going to happen. If you drive a van, do not miss this. Three, two, one, action. Here we go. OK, here comes the van, here comes the Passat. I really didn't think it was going to be quite that loud. Are we good to go? Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, man. OK, it's a bit sandy. Hang on. So, there's a lot of sand. On first impressions, the van driver doesn't look too bad. There's not been massive deformation of the dashboard. Both airbags have gone off, passenger and driver. This foot, I think, is left-hand foot's trapped. The van's obviously a heavier vehicle carrying a one-ton load. So where they struck, which is about here, the van has overridden the car. It would have hit it and then carried on pushing it. The van's almost kind of consumed it and eaten it. Oh, man. It's definitely not going to polish out. Oh, that's freaky. The van seems to have come out of the crash relatively well. There's his hat. There's not been as much damage to the floor pan area as I would have thought. But in the back, there's a nasty surprise waiting. Whoa! Look at this. 
Look. So that was a fat, chubby bag sitting there, and it's now just flat up against here. And look how it's tried to break through the row of seats. This row of seats is no longer straight. It's now a chevron like this. I'm really shocked by this. It's horrendous. And that's the thing. Although there hasn't been a great deal of bodywork coming through onto the limbs there, he has had to absorb all this weight trying to go straight through the windscreen. And I think that's, that's the thing to consider here. What I haven't seen with my eyes, that can kill you. It's not just the accident, it's what then follows through behind you. It's pretty obvious, but it's fair to say that I wouldn't want to be in either of these cars in an accident. The experts at Euro NCAP have reviewed our footage and concluded that the driver of the van would probably have been fatally injured when his head and chest hit the steering wheel. Thanks to the car's airbag, its driver would have fared better. It's also a stark reminder that tools and other heavy equipment should always be tethered securely, even if there's a barrier between the back of the van and the front seats. In an accident, anything stored behind you can become a lethal weapon. That's going to wobble your wig. It was horrifying. The rear seat passengers were thrown clear, but then crushed by the car. Although the interior doesn't look too bad, this car has decelerated from 55 miles an hour to zero in just over a metre, enough to cause massive trauma to your internal organs. But to really get a sense of the energies in...